Welcome to the third video in the Release to Patient PPD video series for this week. So today we're going to be talking about those tools that you're going to be using to find information on basic counseling and how to answer some pretty basic questions or give patients those really three, you know, those top three, the why, the what, and the how for their medications. So the first tool we're going to go over is LexiComp. And you can reach any of these tools by going into Google, typing in Utilito Drug Info, and clicking on that first link, and you'll be able to pull these up. In addition to that, if you're at a workplace, different places use different drug info sources. So just note that these are three basic ones, and you're going to learn very in depth about many different of many different tools, including these three. So let's go off of our example from last week, talking about ciprofloxacin. Simply just type in the drug name, and we're going to go with the systemic one. So as you can see here on LexiComp, it gives you a very handy toolbar where you can just jump to sections. One that's very important is adverse reactions. This is going to tell you the most common adverse reactions. So when people ask, you know, what are the side effects to this medication? This will give you kind of an idea of which ones have been experienced most periodically. So that's very useful to keep track of. In addition, another one here is the uses. So this can help you explain that why of why they're taking the medication. So, you know, most of this is going to be pretty in-depth, so you want to make sure you read through it beforehand or read through it and, and think about how you're going to explain it to somebody. In addition, dosages can be important, especially if you personally do not know exactly why they're using the med and the patient doesn't seem to know. Kind of, It can give you a hint if you see you know, they're using this dosing. Not always 100% correct, but can give you a hint in, in exactly what they're treating. Um, and one of the most important things really is this adult patient education right here. Uh, this is something that you can right here on the right print out and hand out to people and it really puts things in lay terms. Now most pharmacy receipts will have this sort of information on there so this might be actually more useful for you to read through and to see you know, what sort of lay terms you can put this information in. So for instance, <clears throat> how must this drug be taken? This is kind of talking about that how from the last video. Uh, it'll definitely explain right here not to take it with dairy products. Um, and it'll also explain some antibiotics or other medications uh, if they come in the suspension to shake them, to put them in the fridge, take them with food or without food. So this is a good thing to go over. You can hand it to your patients also if you feel like it will help them. The second tool we're going to look at is facts and comparisons. This is another one that's available at many different workplaces as well as through the Utilito website. So you're going to go ahead and type in the drug name. And as you can see here in just a second, facts is really good at breaking down all of the the sections really into tables. So you'll see with most with most medications with the ad, adverse events, it will break them down into nice tables, very easy to read, maybe a little bit easier than facts and comparisons, or excuse me, maybe a little bit easier than Lexicomp. So as you can see here, you can check out the product list and see what kind what routes and what forms it comes in. As you can see, it comes in an eardrop, an eye drop, tablets. Uh, the, the most useful ones here is going to be the patient information tab for these counseling points. You can kind of read through this, and it, you know, not every single point you're going to be able to give people, but this is kind of where you talk to the pharmacist or other interns and and learn that maybe this this is the really the point that you really needed to hit on with that that one to two minutes that you have to talk to the patient, that they should space it out from milk or dairy, or the medication will not work as well. 
Um, so look, you know, you can look through these. Again, it has the adverse events. I don't believe uh, this one does not have them in a table, but oh, it does have some somewhat of tables, but you'll see these tables throughout. But for this one, it also breaks them down by their the system and, and reaction. And another one here, the patient handout. So here's another great resource to look through. It puts everything in lay terms, so when you're talking to patients, you can explain it in a very hopefully easy to understand manner, reading through these points and then kind of taking what you've learned in school and, and maybe speaking with the pharmacist to to make sure you're hitting the high points. Uh, another kind of cool thing is here it comes in Spanish so some people might run into those language barriers just to keep in mind. Uh, the third and final tool that we're going to show in this video is Daily Med, another one found on that Utilito Drug Info source. And these are really the package inserts. So these are very specific for, you'll see here, NDCs. So these are specific product package inserts. As you can see here, this is who makes this medication. So say we had the Ciprofloxacin in here that's made by Bayer with this NDC. Easily could type in the NDC, find the specific one, and it'll take you to the package insert that's going to give you right from the manufacturer what they say about the medication and as you can see it's very similar to the other ones you know the adverse reactions here maybe a little bit more in depth not exactly they don't exactly use percentages they might give you some more studies or whatever is really in the package insert is usually included um, so that's another handy handy one to use is daily med but I'd say they all have pros and cons You just kinda gotta learn which ones you personally like and which ones give you the information that you want to relay to your patients and so that's gonna be a wrap up for this video check out the next video it's gonna go more in depth into specific counseling on various products so thank you for watching